to New Orleans. We go to Jonathan Vilma. Good to talk ball on SportsCenter AM with him. Joe Burrow, Jonathan, had one of the most dominant quarterback seasons in college football history. But what could be his one weakness against Clemson tonight? Well, if there is a weakness, right, right Randy? If, if. The one weakness I would look for is the mental game right before the snap. It's the pre-snap recognition of Joe Burrow. That's what's made him so great, so you have to start disguising. I go back to the Auburn game because that's where LSU had the least amount of points, and they did a great job of being very unconventional, putting eight in the box, and having Joe Burrow read the wrong safety at times. So he sees the safety come down, covering the running back, Clyde edwards alaire thinking he has a corner route open, and misses Terrence Marshall Jr. right in his face wide open. That's a pre-snap recognition of confusing him, and then Auburn goes right back to it. They had that single high safety, but it's a five-man rush. So really the read for Joe Burrows on the outside, looking at Justin Jefferson for the touchdown. Instead, he throws a check down. It's a completion, but a missed opportunity. So when you look at plays like that in the Auburn game and you have the pre-snap recognition, I know Brett Venables will do a great job of trying to confuse and trying to make Joe Burrow think about what defense are they really in. And Burrow is likely offensively to get some support, to be sure, from LSU's run game. But so is Trevor Lawrence on the other sideline. What is it that makes Travis Etienne so dangerous for this LSU defense tonight? I mean, Travis Etienne is the most complete back playing in this game. He is phenomenal after the catch and after the run, right? And you look at everything really in one play. I can show you against Virginia where there's eight in the box. Everything says not to run the ball, but because Travis Etienne is so explosive, has the balance right there to break off one tackler, then watch him get to zero to 60 in a heartbeat. You're having defenders that are lunging at him but can't get there and then the power to push through. And that's what I'm talking about with one running back who is so special. It doesn't matter how many you put in the box. Same thing right here watching all the guys in the box the safety's down yet they thought they had him bottled up the vision to take it out the back end and again I haven't seen a running back break as many tackles as Travis Etienne has done this season he is phenomenal when it comes to yards after catch carrying and passing the ball top 10 he, he ranks among the top 10 at FBS in both scrimmage yards and touchdowns John who wins tonight Oh, LSU wins. It'll be a close game, though. I'm looking at a 27-20 type of game, not a 49-44 barn burner. I see both defenses really stepping up, but LSU will make one more play than Clemson to win it. That is the first time I have heard that bit of a defensive battle. So mm -hmm. says the defensive man, Jonathan Vilma, with the inside for us. What's up? Thank you so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. Don't forget to download the ESPN app, and if you want more premium content, which you do, make sure that you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. See you soon.